Fisher, for me, uh, is a very special place. Fisher Center to me is inspiring, it's creative, it's an opportunity to help people realize their gifts. It confirms for me so much is possible. Once I get here, it's like I'm home. Hi, could I speak to Heather, please? Good morning, morning. Great job, Timotheus. Looks wonderful. Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Janelle. And we are at AHRC's Fisher Center Day Program in the center of Harlem. Harlem's AHRC Fisher Center helps adults living with intellectual and developmental disabilities reach their full potential. And Fisher's dedicated staff create life-enriching programs and services specifically for the people they support. We try our best every day to cater to each and every person to develop programming around your interest. You know, if someone really likes to sing, right, we've got the gospel choir. If someone wants to do art, they can come in here. If someone likes to cook, we've got some staff cooking. We're really trying to help people to feel useful and valued. John's Art Class and Patricia's Soaring Wings Choir have become very popular within the building and the community. These unique creative outlets reflect the Fisher Center's positive and collaborative spirit. One artist is quoted as saying, and I can't remember who, that when we do our art, we dip our brush in our own soul. People have very different personalities, which do come out in the artwork, and they seem to get a lot of joy from it, a lot of uh, self-esteem, because they see that they can create something, and it puts them in an active role. When they're upset or something, I actually ask them, put on some music, and believe it or not, music calms them. Sometimes they can't express themselves, so they express themselves through music. It definitely can be therapeutic. With us encouraging them, it just makes them sing even more louder, better. Unfortunately, both the art room and the multi-purpose room where the choir class is held do not reflect the programs themselves. The spaces are cramped, uninspired, and not functional. Um, our current space, as you can see, it's, it's pretty crowded. We do the best we can with what we have, but currently what we have is one mic, karaoke machine, and my phone. I've tried to get some, some of this stuff out of here. You know, we don't have a lot of room here to store stuff. You, this is our equipment, you see. We set it up for you guys. <laughs> it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. My favorite thing about coming to work every day is really seeing what our people create and the joy that it brings them to create it. I'm doing what I love, being around these guys every day. See, it's one thing to love this job, but you got to be conscious and loving it. You know, it, it, it really blows your mind to think that, you know, someone society may consider to be, you know, quite limited or whatever word you want to use, to create something that's so valuable to people. It's very inspiring, and it, it, it's, it's the heart of the work. I believe we can give the Fisher Center the spaces they truly deserve so they can continue to help change the lives of so many people. It's so important that the space represent where we are, not only here in this building, but on this street corner, like in this neighborhood. It, it, it is built on the backs of so many others. Hey, how's it going? I am looking for the multi-purpose room. Straight ahead. Straight ahead, that way? I think if George the Rescue came we'd be upping our game in a big way. The more we can educate people about what people can do, it's all to the advantage of our culture because we're putting an idea forward that every human being in our culture has worth and has gifts that we can bring out. And that's a great message for people to, to hear. Hey, In all honesty, the round of applause really should be for all of you. It should be for Team Fisher because what you guys do every day, yeah, I guess the, the word that uh, just kept coming through was support. Uh, and the support you give to those who uh, could use it and, and need it. And, and it means the world to them and it means the world to me to be able to be here with you guys and help you help everyone in this community. So uh, thank you guys for uh, letting George to the rescue come in and help the Fisher Center. We got our way.
fish. And we did. Yes. <laughs> you know, it was really surprising, and you know, everyone's so happy. I moved. Um, and I think moved you know, I saw tears. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's oh. like so important to them, and it really came through yeah. when George came in the room. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Scotch Blue Painters Tape. For more information, go to scotchblue.com. Fisher Center is all about helping people with home living, social skills, but the spaces here really could use some love. Helping us out, we have our general contractor, Josh Wiener from Silver Lining, and our designer, the one and only, Tyler Whistler. Back again! So this is the room I would like to tackle. It's the multi-purpose room. They use it for everything. Uh, choir practice, they do cooking lessons. I mean, these huge walls. I mean, they're just screaming for something like exciting to happen. I mean, right now, obviously there's blah. Yeah, and I don't like blah. No, you're not blah. No. Multi-purpose room is really just sort of outdated. The kitchen is just blah, and there's just a lot of unnecessary stuff in there, and it just looks drab. There we go. That's not bad. The rooms look dated, they look old, they look tired, they look sad. They have a kitchen that doesn't work. Whoa! Nothing's really functioning the way it should, so we're here to brighten it up, make it come together. The kitchen came out really easy, almost too easy. Right. Turns out this thing is held in by one drywall screw. Ah! Now the art room, that's a different story altogether because they had no access to any sort of water. When you're doing art, you're constantly making a mess. You need to wash brushes, wash your hands. And so we're actually gonna penetrate through to the next room so we can get access to a sink and sort of reorganize them, give them a little better storage because right now things are just everywhere. So guys, I'm really excited with everything that we're tackling upstairs in the Fisher Center, but as I walk down the halls, I feel that they, they need some love too. I have an idea. I work for Comcast. Comcast has the single largest corporate volunteer program in the world. If we do Comcast Cares Day here at the Fisher Center, we can knock out the walls, we can knock out the hallways, we can tackle everything in the center. Once in a while he does come up with one or two ah. good ideas. Over 200 volunteers are coming to the Fisher Center today to help us paint, do some planting. I am so excited to kick off the 17th annual Comcast Care Day, the nation's largest single day corporate volunteer event. For that, we deserve a round of applause. 17 years, this has been going on, 17 years. And they've done so many different good projects all over the country. And today, they're helping George to rescue do something really great here at the Fisher Center. Got what it? I love about this whole process is it not only gets all of us involved in the community, it gets our families involved as well. And when you start the idea of volunteering at an early age, you're making sure the next generation is well taken care of. We've got executives, we've got sports guys, morning anchors, evening anchors, everybody. Can I get some knuckles? That was a great job. Having the volunteers really made a big difference on what we were able to do, the impact we were able to have here at the Fisher Center. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information, go to 3MDIY.com. Now that we got the walls patched and primed in the multi-purpose room, it's time for Arlene to come in and create her magic. She is an unbelievable muralist. So Arlene, what is the process to creating a giant mural? Well, I collaborated with Tyler and we came up with a plan of design. We're, uh, we're doing some faces that are representative of the neighborhood. Uh -huh. And um, we're uh, doing them in a graffiti style. Arlene and I have been talking about this for a while, trying to find inspiration from where we are in Harlem. Yep. Sort of the vibrant style of it all. So it's going to impact this room so tremendously because, I mean, this was so sad. What was really cool about this is we got our mural wall here that was created by Arlene, and instead of actually putting any sort of trim here, we have a natural frame that we created using Scotch Blue Painter's Tape. Look at that, huh? Look at those sharp paint lines. That's what it's all about.
So in the art room, we took down the wall, we took down all the studs, and uh, the rooms are combined now. So George, we open up this wall, you know, these two rooms were connected. Oh yeah. Now you have the opening here, which will mean that we can put the sink right here and it'll be a real art room. Right. And then we got some new cabinets. Yep. Donated, which was awesome. Renovation Angel did all new cabinetry, and they did it for the art room and for the new kitchen. So basically we've skim coated the entire floor and once all of these like darker gray spots, they dry, then the guys from Aronson's can come in here and lay our new Armstrong floors. That's right. Not to give anything away, but it's a really cool pattern. No, hey, give so. it away, man. I mean, come on. This, the audience, <laughs> they can get in on the secret. Yeah, so uh, we have come downstairs to the streets of New York here in Harlem. A lot of hustle and bustle, but uh, hey, got to get the countertops up. So we got faithful countertops here. Yep. Delivering here in the city is a lot different than delivering in uh, your normal home. We're in the bus lane, you gotta move, move, move. That's typical New Yorker, you need to act fast. Yeah, always. No time for lollygagging. The amazing thing about Sapien Stone is that it's porcelain, so it's indestructible. Nobody can ruin this, and they're gonna look gorgeous for a lifetime. Everything looks absolutely phenomenal, but where do we go from here? Uh, well, next we have to actually prep out because we're gonna start painting the ceiling. We're painting the ceilings? What color are we painting the ceilings? Black. Of course. I didn't even, I read, you see that? <laughs> I just read his mind. Right now, the ceiling is just kind of an old acoustic ceiling. I'm gonna spray it black because then the ceiling will just disappear. You can have all the flaws in the world, but you're never gonna see them because they're just gonna be in shadow. And then really the focus is on the new furnishings that we put in, the art in the room, and the people. All right, guys, how's it going? You know, uh, the room's going along great, but I, I wanna get involved in all the activities you guys do here at the Fisher Center. It's looking great, George. Oh, thanks, you know. We're just, uh, we're just getting going here, though. Lots of room for air. The Scotch Blue Tape and Plastic Dispenser combines Scotch Blue Multi-Surface Painter's Tape for super sharp paint lines and plastic into one product. To learn more or find a retailer near you, go to scotchblue.com. All right, guys, how's it going? You know, the uh, room's going along great, but I, I want to get involved in all the activities you guys do here at the Fisher Center. So I see you guys make some awesome hats, you make soap. Rescuing the Fisher Center is very different than rescuing a home in just one family because of all the different people that it affects, the faculty, the people who come here on a daily basis. You know, my wife loves dragonflies. Can we make her some soap? Yeah. What do you think? Can we put a little green in there, maybe? Yeah. Or some blue? What's that, green? Blue and green. One. And two. Two. With the help of my friends, we created this firefly. Give me a high five. You nailed it. It's looking great, George. Yeah. Oh, thanks, you know. We're just, uh, we're just getting going here, though. Lots of room for air. What do you think? You like it? Yeah. My George the Rescue hat. I could spend the rest of the rescue yeah. just doing crafts with all of you guys. But uh, I can't trust Josh and Tyler to take care of everything. So I'll see you all at Reveal, all right? Bye. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, George. So we are here. We are done with construction. And so now comes the fun part. Wow, Tyler, these chairs, they work perfectly with just everything that's going on here. Yeah, it's amazing. Herman Miller was really, really generous. They gave us a slew of chairs for both this room and the art room, along with flip up tables, storage cabinets. And the great thing is, this is office grade furniture. So it's gonna last. And the colors are amazing. The colors are perfect. I love how they pop. So my game plan going into the art room was really to focus in on how they use the space. Art, it's all about lighting, so we made sure that we had all those track lights to illuminate every single wall, so it really turns into a gallery. So Wexel Art was very generous, and they gave us a ton of frames. All the art is actually put on by magnets, so everything is interchangeable. I like this. Yeah? What is this? Formica. So the Formica column that I created is actually a writable surface for chalk pens as well as magnetic. So it's the perfect thing for the art room because you can switch it out, change it out as you want. Your nose is huge. 
and there's a lot of beard going on right now. It's really beardy. Are you touching my hair? Love it. Don't touch my hair. What do you think? You gotta stand behind me. If I had to classify myself as an artist, it would be somewhere between modern art and renaissance. Or cave painting. Or cave painting, you know? Your head's not that big. No, it actually kind of is. So another big impact item was, of course, the backsplash that we did in the art room because it came from Tile Bar, this beautiful glass mosaic, which I'm gonna make extra special by throwing in my own little twist and creating a custom pattern. I have to say, Mr. Oliphant, that uh, I'm pretty impressed. The people who come here to the Fisher Center, they love art, they love music, they love expressing themselves. And we're giving them that stage. So I think that's what I'm most excited about this entire project. Are you guys ready? Oh my god! Whoa! Ow! Oh. Whoa! And I have one word with four syllables. Remarkable! <laughs> oh. Surprise time. No way. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, are you kidding? <laughs> oh God, it's gorgeous. If you or someone you know is in need of a rescue, visit us at georgetherescue.com to submit your story. Hey, what's up guys? Hey, how are you? How are you? Oh, my hands were sweaty. I was just shaking. I just couldn't wait. All right, Chai, I think you should be the first oh, yes. to check out the art room. Come on in. Whoa. Wow. Oh, wow. Shut we got, the we got space door. in here. This is not the same room. It sure isn't. I love oh. that display of artwork. Oh, wow. You know, before we were doing an art in kind of a dumpy situation, to be very honest, it was a radical makeover. And look at these cubbies, these are amazing. That's fabulous. I mean, how many art teachers have a room like this? So that whole gallery right there, all those pictures are held up by magnets. As you guys continue to create awesome things here, you can switch it out. You can have themes. That's a little better than taping stuff to the wall, right? George. Yeah. yeah. It's like you went right into our hearts and in our heads, and you just put it right there in front of us. I was speechless. Art can be messy. You need a place to clean up. Now you got that. I'm glad you were feeling my pain. I was feeling your pain. I was feeling your pain. I appreciate that. Yeah. I think people are going to be inspired to be in here. This is an environment which dignifies our people. So I'm looking forward to seeing the results. I feel like I've, I got a little pressure on me to up our game in here, <laughs> quite honestly. Are you guys ready? Yes. All right. Oh my God. Whoa. Ow. Whoa. And this is not what I wow. expect. Oh, I have one word with four syllables. Remarkable. When I first went in, when they showed me the multi-purpose room, my head was down. And then when I looked up, the wings. We are the sewing wings. It literally took my breath away. I usually talk a lot. I am <laughs> a loss for words. This is very unusual, everybody. Yeah, exactly. Very unusual. The environment was so horrible. You know, the walls, it was so dreadful, dead. Now, look at this, live. Now we can live and sing our hearts out. And that's exactly what they're going to do. We got, we got two mics here for you. We got you know like 500 different effects. <sighs> no more boom box, because that's what we was using to practice. Now we're going to be better, stronger, and there's no stopping us. This is what y'all call, y'all put love into this. This is just not any ordinary work. This is, this is love. The mural was the first thing, obviously, that stood out. All of the messages right there on the wall that, you know, that we really stand by and believe in and want people that are supported here to, to feel. I'm 
And that door opens and you see the reaction of the people that spend a majority of their life here. I think it was my favorite part of the whole experience was that moment. We want our people to feel valued, to feel special. And so for them to see um, this environment transform like this is very exciting. And I think that it's telling them that they do matter because I always let them know, you are important. I have to say to George to the rescue, the team, what he did for us here not only helps just our program, but the whole community. Uh, I can tell you that every day that we were here in Fisher Center, everybody, they felt it. They felt the energy, they felt the positivity. Hopefully through the show, more people will know just the amazing things you guys do every day. I am forever grateful and touched and changed for having been able to do this rescue, so thank you. I'm just proud of the work that we're doing here of bringing our people's talents forward, of finding the talents they have, and you all have really helped us. Everybody's gonna know Fisher's name. We ain't gonna stop. We're gonna keep going. That's what I'm happy about.